there's a sale and lease back transaction. You have already an asset. You are selling it and taking it back on deal. It is a finance lease. Any profit or loss on sale is deferred and the amortized over the shorter of the lease term and the economic useful life of the asset. Because when you are selling the asset, so there may be loss or gain on that sale that will be deferred. If it is operating lease, if the sale is fair value, profit and loss should be recognized immediately. And if it is operating lease, then it should be recognized immediately. If sale is below fair value, any loss can be deferred, recognized over the lease term as long as the loss is compensated by the rental as less than the market value. It happens that uh, you are uh, get, uh, selling an asset at, uh, at, a, at a low price. Below price. So on the other hand, then you are buy, uh, taking it on lease, you are paying lesser amount. So that is possible. Or if sometimes it happens you are selling it at more than the fair value, then that gain should be recorded. If the sale above fair value, the excess profit should be deferred and amortize over the lease term. So that is what basically that if you are selling your assets, first of all, see at what value it carry and at what value you are selling it. So the value you are attaching is that is the important thing. Now, if the sale is fair value, any gain or loss taken it to the income statement immediately. As I said clearly, that if you are selling it, for example, your asset is of let's say ten thousand rupees, and the fair value is twelve thousand rupees. So you are going to sell it for twelve thousand rupees. So this two thousand is your profit, and that profit will be taken to the profit and loss account immediately. If the sale is above fair value, any excess sales value minus fair value will be additional borrowing and will be refunded. It's an additional liability basically. Asset is of twelve, but you are selling it for 15, so this 3,000 which extra you are getting, you have to refund, that's your liability. Then if the sale is below the fair value, any loss to income statement, if the loss is compensated by future lease payments as below market price, then deferred the loss and amortize over the period of the asset is expected to be used. It's simple that if there is a loss, that is compensated by the amount of lease payment you are making. So similarly, what we do, if it is, let's say, for four years, so whatever loss is, divide it by four, and each year you charge it to against that lease assets or liability. I mean, that will be recorded in the income statement. Thank you very much.